This is the Mobile Marketing Minute with your hosts, Rob Woodbridge and Greg Hickman. Welcome to the Mobile Marketing Minute or so. My name is Rob Woodbridge from Untether.tv. And I am Greg Hickman with MobileMixed.com. And that's our minute. End the show. That's it. We're done. We better end it now. This is the resource episode. Why not throw at you the things that we use to stay in touch with the mobile marketing industry? How's that? We got Sounds good to me. Books, websites, podcasts, no apps. I don't think we have an app, do we? No apps. I don't know. No, I, I don't, I have, don't have an app. I don't have an app. I don't use apps to stay in touch with the app industry. <laughs> All right, so uh, where do you want to start? You want to start with the books that you have? We actually have a demonstration of the books. There. Yeah, we got some books. Um, Old school first, and then we'll move to new. Mobile tech. first. Nice. By Luke. I still don't know how Luke Luke Robowski. Robowski. I, I, I don't. Everyone messes his name up, so sorry, Luke. But really great book, fantastic read. Um, I have the digital copy. There's another one called um, Mobile Content, a like content for mobile or something. Yep. That's also really, really good. Um, the mobile marketing handbook from my good friend and local Coloradan, Kim Dushinsky. Nice. We got mobile marketing from Daniel Rolls or Rowles. Again, don't know how to pronounce his name. Um, we have mobilized marketing from my good man, Jeff Hassan. That's a well-used book. If you haven't seen it, there's just yeah. a whole bunch of stickies in there. A lot great. of stuff. I interviewed him on a, on the podcast, so there's uh, a lot of things I mentioned there. Um, we have Go Mobile from another good friend, mutual friend, Jamie Turner. Wow. From 60secondmarketer.com. Uh, we also have uh, Mobile Magic. I actually haven't read this one yet, um, but I'm really excited to read it. It's from coming out of the agency Saatchi and Saatchi, which works with a lot of big brands, um, Tom Eslinger uh, wrote this. So I'm actually really excited to, to read this one. Um, it looks there's a lot of like nice you know graphics and stuff in here. It looks like it's a nice pretty book. Um, so that's that one. Actually, this other thing that I got at a conference. It's this really like, small handbook, but it's from a company called Fetch. And to be honest, I forget what Fetch does, but for a short little notebook, they have some really good content on like rich media, banners, e explaining like incentivized traffic versus affiliate, all that stuff. So it's called Unco Under Undercover Mobile. Undercover Mobile. Yeah. Secrets, Solutions, and Strategies. So those are some books for you, buddy. Those are some books, old school books. I, I mean, I, I can't remember the last time I picked up a book and, and read it. I listened to it. I'm an audible.com guy. So that's I one of the tools audible. that I use, right? Um, but unfortunately, some of those publications don't end up on audible.com. Um, so I look for their podcasts. And I think that's probably the best place to segue into is is let's talk about podcasts that you, guys, that you consume. And then we'll move into some websites after that. How does that sound? So, I mean, obviously the first yeah. thing, Greg, I... Mobile Mixed is, is the number one mobile podcast that I listen to. What do, what's your number one podcast? It's that the number to? one I listen to also. <laughs> nice. Exactly. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. So, I mean, this, this part of the seg, this segment of the show is going to be completely self-serving. 100%. Mobile Mixed and Untether.tv, you know, and the many shows that you have over at Untether.tv is the main mobile, like, audio content that I consume. Um, you know, there's a lot of like app specific podcasts that are out there. Um, but from what I've seen, most of them haven't kept a consistent schedule. So uh, I'm, I'm happy and proud to say that together, I think we are dominating the mobile podcasting content space. Sweet. It's worth like 80 cents a day. Yeah. That's the revenue. Uh, I mean, I do. I, I we, we joke about this, but I listen to uh, I listen to the Mobile Mixed podcast regularly I, as soon as it comes out. Um, and one of the things that's so great about doing the podcast, and you know this as well, is that I, I get to sit with guys like you, and and uh, I've co-hosts on other shows like Peggy Ann Saltz, mm -hmm. and I have Chuck Martin, um, and uh, and Asif Khan, and so I learn through osmosis, mm -hmm. through you know through our conversations. So that's one way that I do it. But I, I do have a couple of podcasts that I listen to that I feel like I'm cheating on ours. When I say this, I listen to other podcasts. Uh, one of them, it's not as regular as I'd hoped it would be, but it's Ben Bajaran and uh, Benedict Evans, who is now working for Andreessen Horowitz. It's called Cubed, the Cubed podcast. Mm. It comes out 
sporadically. It drives me up the wall. Consistency is so important. And that's why no matter what I do, you'll get one every single day from me. So, I mean, but Cubed is interesting because it's a deep dive. Two smart, smart, smart guys talking about uh, a broader mobile sphere. Uh, I listen to a brand new podcast. Hopefully it's still in existence when you're listening to this. It's called uh, Mobile Syrup, called The Syrup Cast, and that's up in Toronto. Uh, good friend Doug Soltis uh, is uh, doing the co-host. That's very technical around carriers and phones. So if you like hardware conversations, it's not yeah, it's yeah. on my speed, but I do listen to it. Um, and, and, you know, those are those are the podcasts that I consume. That's it. Um, mm. You know, the rest of it is through researching uh, online and, uh, and you know, through websites. So why don't we yeah. jump into that? What uh, what's a website you follow? Yeah, I mean, for me, this this is where I think that, well, there's opportunity in all of them. Um, but I think like there aren't enough websites that are going into the how to of mobile. Right. I agree. Um, you know mobilemarketer.com does a great job of cover, covering the news and like what some of the big brands are doing very very high level case studies like most of the time not even showcasing results like very top line results um, but they cover and you get to see you know what other people are doing um, so that's definitely one I tune into mainly for ideas <laughs> um, and then <laughs> Same with Mobile Marketing Watch. Mobile Marketing Watch is very news focused, um, you know, 500 words or less posts. Um, but they cover a lot of like the groundbreaking stuff. You know, they're trying to be one of the first to cover that that part of the, the mobile space. Um, and that's kind of like why I'm not why I'm shifting. But like if you've looked at my content recently, like I'm really trying to dive into like the step by step stuff. Um, and again, you know, my audience particularly isn't enterprise, um, but you know, I come from that background. But still, it's like I I I really enjoy reading the how to content and like the step by step, you know, the the seven things you need to do. Uh, and there's some other blogs that aren't mobile related that every once in a while cover mobile. Like, I mean, Entrepreneur.com sometimes has some stuff that's really good. Um, HubSpot. You know they have some good some good content on mobile. Sixty Second Marketer, um, you know Jamie there does some good posts on mobile as well. Uh, but yeah, a lot of it's just very news focused. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm with you. The, the I, I typically what untether, I do untether obviously untether mobile mix yes. But what I typically do is I bring. RSS feeds into Feedly, and uh, that's where I get all my information. So I have keywords, and I have my keywords that are set up, and I have a bunch of RSS feeds that feed into Feedly. If you don't know Feedly, just go to Feedly.com. And what it is, is it's it's a reader, and, and that's what I do. I mean, I use Zite. I use a whole bunch of different services that aggregate all the content, so I oftentimes don't know. I do not know where the content is coming from because I don't go to the websites. They're not destinations for me. These apps are. So Feedly and Zite for me are my key, 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 key ones that I pull them in. Um, but I do. I mean, my co-host on uh, the Mobile Commerce Minute, Chuck Martin, uh, is ba is the uh, editor-in-chief of the Mobile Commerce Daily, right? So he, he touches on a lot of the retail, the stuff that we talk about here. Uh, he talks on a statistical level. We talk about it on a tactical level, right? And I think that that's, that's, that's a go-to for me as well. But but really, if, if, I, if, if I didn't have Feedly or Zite or, you know, mm. those kind of news aggregator, I'd be a lost puppy because I, I, I don't have enough time to go to all these websites and search them. Yeah, see, I, I can't do that because then I spend too much time reading stuff. <laughs> I hate reading. I hate reading. Uh, I, I follow guys like Scoble, uh, who's a loudmouth, uh, arrogant guy, but he, he really does surface some of the greatest companies. And the last tool that I use are all the uh, uh, crowdsourcing campaign websites, like Kickstarter. Like I look at Kickstarter once a week yeah. and I look at the top campaigns in my space, mobile, wearables, IoT. And that that is a really great place to see the emerging trends uh, happen as well. Yeah. So I spend a lot of time there. And, um, you know, that's it. Most of the other time, the knowledge that we gain, you and I, it's from people who in the field doing it, right? It's not about, it's not book learning. I'm not saying book learning's for idiots, but it is about actually talking to somebody who's out there doing it. And I think that's the best yeah. way to learn, ultimately. Agreed. And you know what? You don't have to do it. Greg and I are doing it for you. Just go to mobilemix.com <laughs> or untether.tv. You'll get a whole lifetime of learning right there. Yeah. It's a good way to end. Thanks, Greg. Thank you. Don't forget to come back next week for our next episode.